All right, so let's take a look at my basement lab over here. Let me see if I can pull this closer so it's easier to visualize. This is a Dell R730 server that I have. And uh, let me open this up. Um, there we go. Let me take this aside. And what we got over here is uh, NVIDIA P40 GPU and I actually have two of these and I want to show you this that this is an NVIDIA P40 GPU regular PCI slot everything else is exactly the same like you'll have any other GPU um, and if you see these GPUs have do not have any fans on them they do however have uh, a metallic plate that touches their chip over there and these uh, metallic I don't know if you can see it, but th there, are, there are holes that pass all the way from there to the other end. So if you can see my fingers on the other side, um, uh, what happens is that on these servers, the fans are laid out like this, right? So these are the fans that are over here. So the air comes in from this side. There's an, this is the airflow direction. Air comes in from this side, goes through the GPU from here and exits from here. So these fans over here that are uh, supposed to cool down the processors. So these are the two processors. This server happens to have um, E5 uh, V3 servers. I think it's 2680 V3 servers, 12 cores, 24 threads each. And I think they, ha they are clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, if I'm not wrong. I, we can validate that later on. But these are, the, these are the two GPUs that I'm planning to put in here. Only one is in here right now because the cable that I ordered um, only... <laughs> so so th this is unfortunate. So the cable only... So I ordered two of them and only one of these cables was good. So this is a very common thing you will see that these EPS cables, let me show you this over here. A normal GPU cable is, uh, let me show you a normal GPU cable, uh, which is this one. So in, in, by normal, I mean the consumer grade Z GPU cable, this goes into your power supply and this end uh, is the PCIe end that goes into your processor, right? So, uh, sorry, <laughs> into your graphics card, not the processor. So this is your regular uh, 6 plus 2 that goes into the PCIe end. And many times it says VGA. Let me see if it can focus properly and you can see VGA written on it. So it says VGA, that means meaning this part side goes into the, into the uh, gra uh, graphics card. All right. Now, you may also have seen some cables like this that have two um, PCIe ends, right? So 6 plus 2 and 6 plus 2. So some of these modern GPUs, they take two of these uh, inputs. And many of the 3090s and 4090s take three of such inputs, right? So um, we have all those different kind of cables too. This uh, P40 GPU, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can show you over here. There it is. So this P40 GPU has this EPS uh, end over here. It is the same end that the, the processors have, I think. So the cable that came with it was this one. So this is a cable that goes in here like this, right? And let me see if I can push it in and show you. There we go. So this is how it goes in and then you get two of the regular PCIe cables, uh, uh, the graphics card, VGA cables, I keep on calling them PCIe, but it's the VGA cables uh, that I was showing you a little while back. So now your these two cables can go in there and you can plug it into a regular power supply. But we do not have a regular power supply over here. We have a Dell server and Dell server does not have a place where you can plug in um, a, a regular power supply kind of uh, cable end. So anything like this uh, will not work for you. So anything like this where you can plug in one end to the to the to the server uh, like the, the, this won't plug into the server. So 
what can you do over here? So um, what we can do is we can use something that is um, your 12 volt EPS on both sides, right? So these um, uh, adapters over here, if, if you can see this, uh, this is a 225 watt um, output. So, and it is exactly same as this one. So what we need is two male to male cable over here. So this output and this is exactly same. So we need two uh, male to male cable. So one will go on this end and one will go on this end and exactly same looking kind, right? Um, and then we plug this in over here. This riser comes out and we can plug the graphics card in here and then we can put the riser in or if you don't mind, uh, you can also, like this one is an easier one, you can also just plug in the graphics card over here and and uh, just plug in the cables over here, right? So, so this is how um, it, it is normally done. You plug in your GPU and you take the cable out of the riser and plug it into the, the graphics card. So these graphics cards are rated for 250 watts uh, and these riser, riser outputs are 225 watts, which is all right. I think that the, the riser also gives out some power directly. So overall it, it balances out. I haven't seen any issues with my one P40 over here. The, the power supply that I have over here, let me take this out and show you. Um, this has two redundant power supplies. The one that I have is 1100 watts over here. So uh, I haven't even plugged this in. I'm all right over here. I do not need to give it redundancy uh, at this point of time. So only one power supply is uh, connected to power. Hmm. Let me put this back in. Come on, cooperate. There. So this is a 1100 watt uh, power supply. And there's another 1100 watt power supply over here and only one of them is plugged in. All right, so um, I get enough power for, for both the P, uh, CPUs, enough power for one GPU and uh, tonight when the uh, when the cable, the, the, the cable for connecting it from riser to the GPU comes, uh, then I can plug in the second GPU as well. So this is what the current setup is. Um, I have also plugged in so this is riser one right so so there is a there's one riser over here uh, underneath this metal plate over here this is riser one uh, this is riser two and this is riser three there are three risers for PCI slots over here uh, riser one currently has two 10 gigabyte uh, Ethernet ports over here which I am not using right now uh, it has uh, PCIe M.2 connected over here. So I have a 512 gigabyte of M.2 uh, Samsung NVMe SSD plugged into a PCI slot over there. Uh, and the third uh, PCI slot is free. So there are three PCI slots, mini PCI uh, slots over here. Um, this riser has two PCI slots, but because the GPU is so big, it is covering both the PCI slots. And we do not want anything else over there either because we need to provide enough power to this GPU anyway. And this riser, again, if I don't know if you can see it, but it has one and two, two PCIe slots over here. So there's one and one underneath there. There are two PCI slots. And uh, this riser uh, also will eventually have just one GPU connected over here. Uh, so let me put it over here and show you. This is how that one GPU will go in here. And uh, this is how we are going to have it eventually. All right. Um, once all this is connected, I'll, I'll close it up. Uh, also, this particular GPU, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> server has uh, a ton of, well, when I say ton, I mean, let me count it. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these uh, two and a half inch SSDs or well, this is not an SSD. This is an actual a desk over here. So these are nine, nine, I think 900 um, gigabyte if I'm not wrong. Let me double check. Uh, I'm pretty sure these were 900. 
the SS uh, hard drives are weird. They, they do not come in one terabyte or so. They are like 900 if I'm not wrong. But but this is a, we, I cannot locate the the hard disk capacity over here for some reason. But this is 900. Um, I also have the original uh, Dell ones that came with the server, and I think these were 15k 300. Yep. So this one says uh, 300 over here, 300 gigs, 15k RPM. For some reason, the HGSD one does not say that. It is. It does not say the gigabyte uh, over here. Or, or if it says it, then probably I cannot locate it while I'm looking into the camera and trying to find it out. But either way, uh, these uh, eight um, uh, hard disks uh, can go in here. Uh, right now, I have uh, replaced these uh, hard disks, these spinny disks. I know they are SAS, more reliable and all that is good, but I have replaced them with my own SSD. So in the same slot, what you can do is um, you can take your, your uh, disk out. So this is your regular two and a half inch uh, disk. You can take it out of your regular, you know, enclosure and you can um, put your SSD in here and then just plug it back in in the front of your server. So I just wanted to let you know that these are replaceable. You can you can switch a SAS and put a SATA drive in there. You cannot do other way around, but you can put a SATA drive in the SAS drive. So I just wanted to make that point. All right, um, tonight once my uh, cable comes, once once the uh, riser cable to my GPU comes uh, then I'll, I'll use that and I'll plug it in and I'll have two dual uh, NVIDIA P40 GPUs connected in the server but till then uh, we'll, we'll have one uh, GPU connected uh, fortunately today is the date when the Ubuntu 2404 got released so I'm very excited to you know install 2404 virtualize it I do not want to start it bare metal on this i'm going to virtualize it uh, either use proxmox or esxi i'll see what i want to do uh, and I'll, I'll virtualize that ubuntu machine it's uh, there is one virtual uh, ubuntu machine already running over here i made a video about that uh, and how to configure your p40s using the nvidia drivers and um, making sure that the correct configuration is in place the the uh, operating system is booting into UEFI mode and not BIOS mode, right? And all those things. There are some extra settings you have to do and configure um, your uh, ESXi to make it boot properly if you are plugging in a graphics uh, card uh, directly into your uh, virtualized operating system in ESXi. So all those configurations are in a previous video. Uh, this one, I just wanted to show you what my current setup looks like and what I'm going to do uh, tonight so that I can have a dual GPU set up in my uh, server over here. All right, thank you guys. It's been long for this video. Thank you for watching.